Um, but right now we're still seeing our freeze warnings issued through 10 a.m. So through at least uh, when we're live on air and wind chill advisories because the winds are going to be between 10 to 15 miles per hour. Overall, this cold air is thanks to the passage of a frontal system that's now down in South Florida. So not only us, but even areas of South Florida will get in on this intense cold and that Arctic high uh, just sitting right here in the plains. So not only us are we feeling this cold, but most of the East Coast and Central Plains. It's eight degrees in Tulsa, 19 in Dallas, seven in Chicago and 23 in Washington, D.C. So we're one of the warmer spots across the country right now. But for us, this is pretty chilly. Throughout the rest of your day today, we're going to see temperatures warming into the upper 40s to 50s for our southern counties from Gainesville to St. Augustine and Palaka. You're going to reach that 50 degree mark this afternoon. Downtown Jacksonville, uh, 49 for that afternoon high. And then as we head towards the evening and overnight hours, we're going to get in on the coldest air this weekend. Temperatures dropping into the low 20s for southeast Georgia and even mid 20s across northeast Florida. So get ready for another spell of cold air tomorrow and then by the afternoon it's going to be the coldest afternoon before we get a, a little bit of a pattern shift so the winds will start to shift from the north to the northeast so that's going to bring in a little bit more humidity and a little bit more of that warmer air so we're going to quickly be about 20 degrees more on uh, Monday afternoon compared to tomorrow afternoon so if you're tired of the cold air there is relief on the way. Uh, overall, our winds will also start to subside after Sunday, so winds will be relatively calm as we get that pattern shift. But we still have to get through Sunday, so here's a look at your overnight lows for Sunday. That is right before sunrise. Widespread 23 degrees uh, across Waycross, 23 degrees. Valdosta, 25. Downtown Jacksonville, 28 degrees. In our coastal areas, you're going to be in the 30s. Uh, 34 in front of Dina Beach and even across uh, Mayport there. Tomorrow's afternoon high is just a, a degree or two uh, colder compared to this afternoon with 48 in Jacksonville, 55 in St. Augustine, and 50 in Gainesville. And then Monday, this is the last round of that cold air where freeze warnings may be reissued for areas of southeast Georgia, but most of us will be above freezing, especially across our coastal locations by Monday morning. And then rain chances return in the forecast. So we still have another dry day on Monday. And then by the end of the week and towards the middle of the week, rain chances return with isolated to scattered uh, showers by the end of the week. But take a look at our temperatures, 81 by Thursday and Friday. So we're going to get a major temperature shift by the end of the week.